I'm gonna be honest with you. Lately, I have been really struggling to make videos for this channel. If you know me or you've followed me for a little while, you know that my uploads to YouTube are already discontinuous to begin with. But lately, I've been finding it harder and harder to put videos together. I have ideas for all sorts of videos that I'm excited to make for this channel, but lately the activation energy of getting the camera set up and the lights and the microphone has just felt like so much that I keep procrastinating. That was until I came across this thing. Let me explain. So recently I was doing what anyone does when they're procrastinating. I was scrolling through Instagram and right there in the middle of my feed, I came across an ad for this razor thin credit card sized plastic, but reinforced with carbon fiber tripod for smartphones. So I did what anyone in my situation would do. I clicked on it and within about 30 seconds, I had bought this thing. It's called the Pocket Tripod Pro and I ordered it online a few weeks ago and recently it finally got here. But here's the question. We know this is a really interesting invention. It's got a lot of buzz online and we know they do a ton of advertising, but does this really make it easier to film myself on a daily basis? Is this really making a difference? Well, so far, yeah. So when it arrives, it shows up in an actually really nice box. This is uh, the packaging that it comes in and it has one of these sort of magnetized covers. So it has this nice soft close here. When you open it up, the first thing you see as you start to open it is this tool here, which is what you use to size the tripod to your cell phone. We'll talk more about that in a couple minutes. We open this the rest of the way. There's some instructions here. And then here, it's a little hard to see right now, but each of these are different size wheels depending on what size phone you have to fit in the tripod. And then of course, here's the pocket tripod itself. So when you're looking at how to use this and how to set this up, the pocket tripod has these hinges. So you first start by flipping it here along this middle hinge. This puts it into a kind of shield-like shape. Then you flip up the sides here, and now you have where you're going to place your phone. So I'll show you that in a second, but you can place your phone vertically here, or you can place it horizontally. And these wheels also allow you to pivot the phone. So let's take a look. So right here, for instance, we have a phone that's in the tripod, and it could be pointing this way, as you see like that, but you can also use these wheels to pivot. So if I wanted to rotate the wheels, I could rotate these wheels like this. And then all of a sudden you have an angle pointing down like that. Or you can also rotate them in the other direction so that now your phone can be pointing almost upwards. And these rotate all the way around. As you see, it keeps rotating more. You can also place your phone vertically in here and you can point it in either direction. Now, something else that I wanna show you is that these here are the wheels that your phone is sized to. And so when you first get this, the first step is figuring out how to set your tripod. And that's where their card comes in handy. So all the tripods automatically ship with size 10.0 already pre-installed. That's this little ridge here. So to show you an example, I'm gonna try placing it in the 10.5, and you see that it's a little bit too wiggly here. But if I go down, down to the 9.5, it's a little bit too tight for me to get in and get out. So the 10.0 ends up being the perfect size. But depending which phone you have and which case is on your phone, different sizes may be better. 
And once you figure out the size that's best for you, you'll then take these wheels and use these wheels to put into your tripod so that the tripod itself is sized perfectly for your phone. Again, you twist it around here, you flip the sides there, and then it's ready to go. So that's it. This little thing is pretty cool. If you want to get one of your own, I've got a link down below in the description. And if you have ideas for another video in the future, let me know below. It's good to see you guys again. I promise we're going to start doing this more often.